Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another uh, x 11 video here today. Ground to cockpit. Is driving We're sitting here in a Westjet 737 in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we are heading down to Calgary today. A nice short hop on VNAV, actually. Well, actually, I don't want all those thrusts yet now, fine. Um, LNAV to on. Just do all of these things, but we're going to be on VNAV anyway, so. Alright, well, VNAV doesn't want to, you know, <laughs> work on the ground, I guess, so. We're uh, just a tad bit behind schedule today. It's a very short flight to Calgary. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. But we are here at, in lovely Edmonton, Alberta, where there's absolutely nothing to do and nothing to see. I don't know why this city exists, to be honest. But I mean, downtown Edmonton's actually quite nice. Well, I mean, not in the game, obviously. There's nothing here. Downtown Edmonton should be... Yeah, around these parts. But obviously there's not a damn soul around, so we'll just hop on back over to the airport. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Alright then, we've started our pushback now. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire him up, starting with the right hand engine, of course, as always. Or not. We're going to fire the left. No, I want the to fire the left hand engine then. Right, the left hand engine. Start valve is open. Doing it a little differently today. Starting the left hand engine first. And then normally we'd start the right hand engine first, but that's fine. Left one is choosing to cooperate. going to be runway 1 2 departure today I do hope that you enjoyed that 757 flight today from um Reykjavik Keflavik all the way over to Glasgow Yeah, Edmonton's up at 2300 feet, which is amazing. Uh, Red Deer Regional's right there, halfway in between Edmonton and Calgary. Alright, then the right engine's starting up now. Alright then, we've got both engines running. Hurry up and get the hell out of the way now so we can get get the hell out of here. We've got an Air Canada A320 that seems to have just pushed back as well. That's actually a very good time to just check these really quickly. 
Right, everything seems to work just fine. Rudder works alright, good. Come on, Tug. Just get the hell out, I don't care. Now we're just slowing down the entire ramp operations because of this guy. And the funny thing about this airport is you're pretty much already at the runway. I'm not paying attention to where I'm taxiing, obviously. Go ahead and turn those guys on since we're already at the runway pretty much. You see, I have chosen a different I've chosen the uh, route that goes through the de-icing pad because I'm so accustomed to it up here in Edmonton. Even though we didn't need to go anywhere near here. But you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We're definitely getting there before that air cannon A319 or A320, I don't really know what it is. Right then we are fully set and configured and ready for departure to to Calgary. Uh, holding short, remove one two, cliff for takeoff, remove one two, roger. Cross check. We want to rotate are right next to each other here, which isn't surprising. Come on, all right, here we go. Gear up. This is the one thing I don't understand about VNAV, is why it just stops your climb and starts descending randomly like this. And besides that, it's fine, but I mean, it just does that. And then we start climbing at 3,500 feet per minute. Well, to be fair to the autopilot, the aircraft can handle this. And saying how much it's 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 asking for, I mean, it is actually doing pretty well. Four thousand feet per minute on departure out of Edmonton. That's actually not bad. What the hell is that? Um, I'm just putting things for VNAV. I'm not going to take off the autopilot because I don't see it. Uh, not the autopilot. I mean the uh, fasten seatbelt sign. Because I don't see any need to on a flight that's 150 miles long. We've got an interesting flight path today, though, into Calgary. The 
runway's right about there, but we have to like fly and do weird things. Next up is Edmonton Oilers. That's our next waypoint. Alright, and so that's 10,000 feet. To be fair, Edmonton Airport is at 8,000 feet, but to say that we're at 10,007 miles or so, that is something. Then again, we are as light as a feather today on our short, short hop to Calgary, and I probably massively overfilled the aircraft once again, even well, I mean, it's a shorter flight, so it doesn't matter that much. What the hell's our speed so low? Why don't we just increase it, like, actually? We're about to overtake the Air Canada Dash 8 that took off, ju well, quite a bit before us, actually. Well, when I say we're about to overtake it, I mean, well, we're still quite far behind it, but we're closing it at 100 knots. We're like faster than him. So, I mean. It's like he's standing still, to be honest. Once we do pass him. Whenever we pass him. And then again, now we're gonna pass well over him, though. So he has decided to maintain 16,000. I think he's heading out to uh, Calgary as well. Well, he has to be heading out to Calgary. There's nowhere else he can technically be going. Maintaining this low of an altitude and this, these kinds of numbers and stuff. Right, got him. Most yet, uh, A38. We've got the uh, Canada Q400 just off of our nose. People that chose that Air Canada flight probably now regret doing that and want to uh, choose us once they see us blitz right past them if they even are paying attention out the window. See, there's the guy that we're talking about. Man, he is really low. He's decided to have a much lower cruising altitude than us. The fact that he's still ahead of us is amazing. Well, I mean, he isn't really ahead of us anymore, is he? Yeah, and there's no way he's seeing us. The captain might, or the pilots might, once we fly over them and are ahead of them. It really does look like he's standing still. Now we're on top of him, and uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on down to Calgary, which just popped up on my map, which is always great. One seven right or left? I think we have right selected. Legs. Yeah, we do have one seven right selected.
We are 97 miles away from there. Thousand to go, roger that. Where's that Q400 now? I don't know, it's not that important. Uh, we're 90 miles out from Calgary. We're not choosing the most efficient path to Calgary, we're choosing a path that does work though. Is he even above that cloud? I highly doubt it actually. He's like over there, but like much lower. I don't think we can see him anymore. I don't think we'll see him until we're about ready to depart Calgary and head to our next destination, which is who knows what. Could be Vancouver, it could be Toronto, it could be Regina, it could be San Diego. For all I know, it could be friggin' Honolulu or Kahului. No, I don't know, but um. Yeah. We won't see him until we're in Calgary now. Yankee, Yankee, oh wait, no, it's, oh no, I just forgot. No, it's Yankee Charlie, Charlie Yankee. No, it's not, it's not though. Oh. I forgot, but I think... No, I, I legitimately just forgot. Oh no, I forgot that they saw everything with Charlie, so that makes sense. Charlie Yankee Yankee Charlie, that's what it is. Alpha Charlie 10, a 787 is landing, Air Canada Flight 10, basically. Here's us. Appearing now, here's an A320 Air Canada appearing as well. I don't see exactly what we're going to do, but I can see a rough idea of what we're going to do. So from Utnon, we actually have a vector, which is slightly interesting. Whoops, not fix. No, not that legs is what I meant to press. It says something about reset MCP altitude. Offset. No, I don't want the offset. No, no. Progress is fine. Departure, no. We're not quite at the uh, top of descent just yet. Though we will be in approximately 1.25 miles.
Actually, I'll go for 12,000 feet for now. Don't even need drag yet, which is interesting. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure this is exactly what the aircraft had in mind. No. No, actually, no. I think what it wants is like fourteen thousand. Alright, I see what we're doing here. 15,000 now. Is it sure that we don't need more drag? Oh, I see. We're just trying to get on track. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're on track now, so we can pull up out of the freaking dive that we were in. Alright, then now we'll r remove the drag. Now we're below the cloud, we're flying at 900 miles per hour. It is very bumpy right now at this altitude. How high up is Calgary Airport? I want to know. All right, thank you. Details: We're at 3,500 feet in Calgary. And right, now we just need to descend some more. VNAV, wake up. All right, here we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're at 14,000 feet, but that's because the ground below us is at 3,500 feet, so we're pretty much at like 10,000 feet. And that's the interesting part that we're experiencing here in Calgary. It's not that interesting, I mean, there's a lot of airports in the world like that, but it's just an observation that I'm making. There's that A-can dash 8 that we left for da for chips earlier. I believe that that company 738 is heading out to Edmonton. Alright, who is that guy that's coming in? Wait, what altitude is he at? Okay, he's at 10,000 feet. Which leads me to believe we're a wee bit high here today. Get our speed down. Vnav, Lnav, we are good. I mean, it's it's taken us from point A to 
almost to point B at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our landing lights and taxi lights. Why not? Go ahead and set flaps to 1 or 5 or whatever. Golf Bravo. Damn it, I knew that I was taking a gamble. But who the hell is Golf Bravo? Oh, that airport is way closer than Calgary is. That airport's only 3.8, while well, Calgary's still 21. Golf Bravo, I'm gonna have to search that up here later on. Golf Bravo 920767, we've got WestJet Flight 447, we've got WestJet Flight 3187, that's a uh, WestJet uh, Encore, we've got WestJet Flight 662, we've got us coming in, Flight 838, we've got another, we've got an Air Canada A320. Man, it's popping off in Calgary Airport. I don't see it though. You know, it's apparently right in front of me. Well, I think it's actually behind that cloud, so. Oh, I do see it. There it is. Calgary Airport. It's right there, some, well, some of it. Alright, we're setting a left hand turn now. I want to be at 7,500 feet by the next waypoint. That's our target here. And then from there, we'll go to over there and be at 6,500 feet by then. There's a lot of departures, but here's us just very calmly coming into land. There's a lot going on here, because there's a lot of runways here. 17 left would have been a great runway though, actually, now that I think about it. Because there's nothing there, just, it's just like a free runway, like there's no intersecting runways, nothing like that that could get in your way, I mean. I'll go from there to Yunon, and uh, no, to Yunon, and then well Udon, and then we'll turn round and head over to Il 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 whatever the hell waypoints these are. All right, then I'm just gonna make a right and then make a quick left in succession. We're only four miles away from U Udon. There's a lot of French people here. I mean. Well, in 
Canada, like in Quebec. I guess it's Udon. I don't know though. I mean, this isn't a French part of Canada, so I mean, probably not. But who knows? So There's not very much desktop audio in the cockpit, is there anymore? Because I turned it down so much because of the 757 and how loud it is. And how loud it is. Approach. Alright then, heading toward Alerc now. Here's us. Alright, come on. Stop turning. Right, just just stop turning. This damn aeroplane, all it knows how to do is turn. Alright, then now that we're out of the cloud, where is Calgary Airport? It's actually very far away over there. Yeah, I got. It. I see it. Flight attendant PP four Landy. I'm a. I'm a French speaking captain. No, I'm not. Not really, but just pretend I am. You, nobody got anywhere without pretending. That's a lie, but still. Where the hell are we descending? We don't need to be descending any. No. Alright, we're good on the V nav. Just hold the altitude. Just hold. Just hold that altitude. Alright, we're good on the V nav now. Now that we're here. At Calgary. We'll drop the gear. It's a little bit early, but we'll drop it nonetheless. We've got like a missed approach on top of a regular departure. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, Golf Bravo. I'll actually search that up right now. Golf Bravo 9020. Oh, it's ABX there, okay. That makes sense. That actually makes a tremendous amount of sense. Like you don't, but you can't believe how much sense that makes. Like yeah, like you won't believe it. Approach verification not selected. That's fine. Oh damn it! All right then. Well, we're going to be ready to land here in Calgary. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. There's the good old terminal here in Calgary. Um, there's nothing going on here anymore. It was literally so busy like five minutes ago. We've actually got company Westjet 5544 coming in on the... Uh, other little runway that we've got right there. So in a second here, I'm supposed to see and avoid him. I think, as I do believe, I am behind him. That said, I don't see him. Oh, okay, I got. I see him now. All right, got him there for just a second. I just lost him again. 
it's not that big a deal. I mean, all right, got him. He's gonna be way before us. Okay, we're good on that front. All right, and then there's a lot of uh, encores at the uh, gate. There's a West Jet Link as well, but I don't really see many regular West Jets or many aircraft for that matter. Just in general, we've got an Air Transat and a FedEx. I'm worrying too much about that when I should be worrying about my landing. It seems like it's a little bit bumpy, but I'll 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 take it myself. Cause why not? Now at this point in time, we've got to just question why the hell not? Why wouldn't I just take control of the aircraft here? Our company 737 that's landing on that cross runway is down. It is quite bumpy, if I'm going to be completely honest, right now. Just in general, I mean, like, the weather's quite bumpy. Oh, God, we've got another guy on short final. Alright, but we, I mean, I know this isn't an excuse in real life, but to be honest, here, we should be stopped well before him, well before that runway intersection. Right, that WestJet Deck Company aircraft got off the runway just fine. Okay. Add a bit of power to counteract that. Drop it down just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it is really bumpy today for some reason. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Calgary. Um, yeah, just welcome to Calgary, where the local time is currently 9.11. That's great. Great timing on our part to get you here at 9.11. But, um, yeah, uh... Besides the fact that uh, we landed way down the runway from where I was uh, wanting to land, uh, it was a very good landing. It was nice and smooth, I think. Like when I say when I think of a smooth landing, I think of that. Well, I mean, not necessarily that, but that was a pretty smooth landing, in my opinion, at least. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, it was a long landing. Just going th uh, just overviewing right now was a long landing and that's I think the only complaint that we can have about that landing that anybody can have about it not that it really mattered it was quite gusty it was quite gusty so I decided there just before touchdown that I'd rather be a little bit too high on the approach than even on it or too low or anything So, in case uh, there was a microburst or anything, I would be down on solid tarmac instead of grass. And that'd be runway below me, basically. It'd be easier to make a missed approach and all of that. So, yeah, all things considered, I think that it went very well. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, welcome to uh, Calgary now. Alright, then we're just going to taxi to the gate now from here, it shouldn't take very long anymore. It is a ghost town here on the west jet side of the terminal here in Calgary. Well, I mean, it's a ghost town everywhere here in Calgary, actually, right now, except for the little turboprop stands. And that seems to always be the case whenever I'm here in Calgary, in this game. So yeah, I'm going to be here in Calgary twice, still, in the near future, a flight to Kelowna and then a flight to Saskatoon. Unfortunately, there was no 737-800 that flew to Regina, because I would have done that one too. But you know what, you win some, you lose some. Today's stand will be 15 Alpha. Oh, you know what? No, we'll do 15 Bravo. We're more lined up with that one. Ah, you know what? Forget it. It doesn't really matter, does it? 15 Alpha it is. Okay, that's a little bit much. Just come in nice and straight in, and then boom, stop. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Calgary and the Gate. Everything is now shut off. That really needs to be. Right, there we go. APU is the only thing that's on. And uh, we'll get a GPU out here eventually. We do have some WestJet q 4 I swore that that was a Saab. But maybe it wasn't. Or maybe there was a sub there before, but it isn't anymore. We've got some Air Canada Jazz aircraft over here, Air Canada Express aircraft, whatnot. There's nothing down over here. And we've got the Air Transat and the FedEx over here. Both are A300s. There's that Air Canada flight. I feel like this Calgary airport isn't modelled right. Just because there's never anybody at the gates. I don't know. Let me just look at downtown Calgary real well. Yeah, that's very realistic, but I mean, in real life, Calgary has 900 million skyscrapers. It looks like Los Angeles, kind of. Where will this Air Canada guy go? I'm curious now. 
Oh, he just despawned. Okay. Oh well, there's something wrong with this Calgary, Calgary Airport map. I don't know what it is, but it's not none of it's not none of my problem. So I'm gonna see you guys. Oh my god! I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Goodbye.